a few problems with my latest invention. Well, this is my invention here. I've decided to call it a glunk, and if that doesn't work, I'll probably call it a skateboard. Now, what I need to do with this skateboard is put it on the ground so it can move, move backwards and forwards, round corners, all over the place. But the trouble I'm having is deciding what to use for wheels. I mean, everybody has round wheels. That's boring. I want something different. So the question I need to ask today is, why do the wheels on my skateboard have to be round? The wheels have to be round so you can go down hills. If you use like a different shape, like a square, it won't move properly. So that if they try and go another one, they won't roll very well. Because if they were square, they wouldn't even they wouldn't roll. So the skateboard can move. Hmm, you guys have got some good ideas, but I'm still left pondering. <sighs> Maybe my time as an inventor is up. But I came up with some good inventions while I was at it. Oh yeah, the television, that was a goodie. And the electric egg beater, that was mine. Okay, well maybe I didn't invent them, but I thought they were really good ideas. And I'm not gonna give up on this. Oh no, the skateboard is going to be the coolest invention ever. Especially with triangle shaped wheels. Yes, I've got it. Eureka! <laughs> Check this baby out. A triangle wheel with three sides. Let's put it to the test. Let's see where we're going on triangle wheels. Now I've got all the safety gear, I've got the knee pads, I've got the wrist pads, I've got the skid lids, so I'm off. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Okay, it's not working, something's wrong. The skateboard's going nowhere with triangle wheels. I'm no square, but this wheel is. Look at it. I've never seen anything so square. It's as square as a, well, a square, really. Oh, OK, I know. Let's get on with it. But first of all, let's think about it. Now, this is skateboard version 2.0, and the wheels are square. Now, squares have four sides. And a skateboard has four wheels. So I'm going to go four times as fast. Let's check it out. Okay, this is one small step for man, but one giant leap for mankind. Here goes. <laughs> Good. Back to the drawing board. These wheels are amazing. Now remember, we started with the triangular wheels. Then we went for the square wheels. Well, now we're going for the octagonal wheels. These wheels come all the way from the octagon in Dunedin. Well, no, they don't, but they are octagonal shaped. They have eight sides, and I've got a good feeling about these wheels. We're gonna go places. Let's check them out. Well, we're almost there. Well, the ride sure did improve with the more sides the wheel had. Because when you think about it, I started with the triangle and I got nowhere. The square wheels didn't take me far either. But I did start to move with octagonal wheels. So maybe I need wheels that have like a hundred sides. Maybe that would be groovy. Well, let's have a closer look at these wheels and see if we can see a pattern emerging. Triangle wheel, three sides, no cooperation. Square, four sides, no cooperation. Octagonal wheel, eight sides, and a bit of cooperation. Well, I do see a pattern emerging, and it's got something to do with this. Here is something round. It's an orange, and I'll let you in on a little secret. 
An orange is round and it rolls really well, see? Yep. It rolls really well, very smoothly. Well, let's compare it with our wheels, starting with the triangular wheel. Do they look the same? Are they the same shape? No. A triangle has three straight sides and an orange has none. Let's see how they roll. <gasps> that smooth orange roll and look. The triangle has moved. Well, how about the square? Do they look the same? Do they have the same shape? No. The square has four straight sides and the orange is round. It has no sides at all. How do they compare in the rolling stakes? That orange is off beautifully and the square doesn't move. Or well, how about the octagonal wheel? Do they look the same? Not exactly the same, but they are getting closer. The octagonal shape has a rounder shape about it. Well, how do they roll? That orange rolls beautifully, so smoothly. And the octagonal shape rolls, but it's kind of bumpy. This is my latest creation. It's the round wheel. Because really, I was thinking in the wrong way. I was thinking more sides to the wheel when I should have been thinking less. I mean, how many sides does a wheel have? No, it has two, an inside and an outside. <laughs> Just kidding. No, a wheel has no sides and it should roll beautifully. All right, let's put it to the test. Oh, stand back. I'm going to be going great places on these round wheels. Just you watch. Three different shapes, all the same size. Well, let's see how they roll. Let's start with a triangle. And it rolls. No, it doesn't. Well, how about the square shaped tin? It rolls. No, it doesn't. And the round shaped tin? rolls beautifully. See, it's all about shape, not size. So, why does my skateboard have to have round wheels? Well, if I didn't have round wheels, I wouldn't be going very far. It's the roundness of the wheels that give it the path of least resistance. That means the wheels just keep going round and round and round. And there are wheels on lots of things. Cars, buses, trucks, bikes, you name it. Why don't you have a game with a friend? See who can come up with the most number of things that have wheels. The one who gets the most is the winner. If you'd more like some more science information, you can head to my website. It's at www.suzy.co.nz or head to your local library. Right, it's time to put these round wheels into action. Stand back. I am a professional, you know, and I do know what I'm doing. Okay. Are you ready to see a professional at work? Here goes. Oh, 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 oh. Why do the wheels on my skateboard? Hi, <laughs> the triagonal wheels. Triagonal. <laughs> you know, first of all, we tried the triagonal. <laughs> They are made of an octagonal, but they are act octagonal shaped. Thanks to New Zealand on air, we couldn't have done it without you.